This is the reason why lithium prices have dropped by nearly 70% this year. The future of batteries is not what people think it is. We don't need lithium. We really don't. However, we will use lithium, but it will be in combination with sodium. This is likely to be the first manufacturer in China to mass produce cars with electric batteries using sodium ion batteries. It has been confirmed it's official. This automaker will use sodium batteries in its EVs this year. And it's not BYD. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. CATL, the biggest battery company in the world, have been working on sodium ion batteries for more than five years. They said that sodium ion batteries were perfectly suitable in EVs with up to 400 kilometers of range. Well, they've since changed that to up to 500. Why? Because the energy density has continued to improve. CATL sodium ion batteries will be installed in vehicles this year, the company has confirmed. And they'll first be used in Sherry car models this year. Now, Sherry are one of the biggest electric car manufacturers in China. They're not some small niche company. I think they're going to go big with these batteries. Why? They are cheaper than lithium ion phosphate. And they do have some advantages. If you live in a cold climate, they will actually work better than lithium batteries. Sodium ion batteries will break through resource bottlenecks and they're cost effective, say CATL. Now, CATL said back in 2021, that sodium ion batteries would eventually be around 30% cheaper than the much cheaper than the lithium batteries most legacy manufacturers use, lithium ion phosphate batteries. Tesla use LFP batteries in their cheaper models. CATL said that sodium batteries would be 30% cheaper even than LFP, lithium ion phosphate batteries, meaning they would be about half the price of the lithium batteries in most electric cars made by companies outside of China. This is a massive cost improvement, and it's the key reason why, it's the biggest reason why the price of lithium has gone down this year by such a staggering amount. Toyota made the comment, there's not enough lithium in the world for EVs. In fact, they said there's only enough lithium in the world to put a minuscule one kilowatt hour battery in every EV. One kilowatt hour. That would be, you know, like this big type of thing. Very, very small. The average EV has a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack. The average EV in China, much smaller, around 40. However, the key point is this. If that were true, if there was nowhere near enough lithium in the world, why is it that refineries and manufacturers of lithium in China have actually started hoarding lithium, hoarding it, because it's not enough? Is that true? Well, clearly, if there wasn't enough lithium, the price wouldn't have crashed in the way that it has done this year, because it's a resource that's in massive demand. Obviously, the futures market and the lithium price spot market is pricing in the impacts of sodium into the battery market. This is the year when that disruption is happening. Who would have thought lithium would be disrupted by sodium? CATL will hold a zero carbon strategy launch to announce this vehicle in Shanghai on the 18th of April, meaning probably by the time you've watched this video. For those wondering, CATL actually unveiled their first generation sodium ion battery, saying that the energy density had reached 160 watts per kilo, which is almost identical energy density to lithium ion phosphate batteries. What the big problem was with sodium batteries in the past was energy density was just too low to use them in cars. And they won't be mass manufactured on large enough scale to use them for battery storage. But that is now changing with the two biggest battery makers in the world, BYD and CATL, both pivoting towards sodium batteries. However, at that time, CATL said in 2021 that their first generation sodium battery was slightly, but not much, lower in energy density than the lithium ion phosphate batteries that they were supplying Tesla with. However, the sodium batteries have obvious advantages in t low temperature performance, so temperatures below freezing, and with fast charging, especially in high power application scenarios in Alpine regions. Plus, they're said to be able to take more charges than lithium batteries. CATL's next gen sodium battery energy density, they say will exceed 200 watts per kilo. And the company has said it has already started the industrialization layout of sodium ion batteries and plans to form a basic industrial chain in 2023. 
In other words, it's doing it now, right now. If it is true that CATL's battery density of their sodium batteries is 200 watts per kilo, they're already more energy dense than BYD's lithium ion phosphate blade batteries. Already more energy dense than CATL's lithium ion phosphate batteries. I don't know if this is true, but if it is, it's absolutely game changing. It's one of the most game changing things that I've heard for years now. CATL did not mention the possible areas of use at the time for sodium ion batteries. So the market just considered, just assumed that CATL was really referencing energy storage, meaning large mega packs that they'd use sodium ion batteries for. They're perfect for that. Turns out they could also be perfect for cars. There's been rumors that there will be combined hybrid batteries, not a hybrid car, a hybrid battery using lithium and sodium in the same battery to get the best of both worlds. And I've heard rumors about these batteries a number of times, and I've made a few videos about those too. However, we don't have a manufacturer that has yet confirmed production of them. On the 29th of November, 2022, Hung Ki Sen, Vice President of CATL Research, said in a forum that sodium ion batteries are going to be mass produced in EVs and will become very common globally. That was the first time that anyone from the global battery supply chain actually made those comments. And it's very telling considering this is by far the biggest battery company in the world. They have massive experience with battery manufacturing and they're very well respected in the industry. Now, as for applications and passenger cars, Sodium ion batteries will generally be used in cars with up to 400 kilometers of range, but it's only a few years before we see energy density in sodium batteries increase. And when it does, well, you're just gonna see EVs with even more range using sodium batteries. CNEVPost.com says that with its pioneering AB battery system integration technology, CHL has achieved a mix of sodium ion and lithium ion allowing them to complement each other and thus increase the energy density of the battery system. So CATL have confirmed that yes, they've been working on hybrid batteries. We don't, we haven't seen any yet. No manufacturers have confirmed they're using them. They're probably still doing some testing and working out the actual bugs, etc. However, they are coming in the future. They'll be a massive part of the automotive supply chain, especially because they will enable you to get the best of both lithium and sodium. Combine the best of both of those and you have possibly the perfect battery. Now this approach will enable sodium ion batteries to support EVs with ranges of 500 kilometers or possibly more, meaning about 65% of all electric cars sold right now. In other words, CATL are basically preparing for a future that possibly is more sodium dependent than lithium dependent. Now considering the co cost of sodium, is peanuts in comparison to the cost of lithium, even after its decrease of 65% this year, this could potentially mean battery packs that cost half the price of battery packs today. Imagine if that were to happen. Gasoline powered vehicles would be wiped off the face of the earth within only a couple of years. CNF Post says, two months ago, an unnamed Chinese battery manufacturer had already begun fitting sodium ion batteries into its cars. A lot of people believe that's BYD. A lot of people believe that car is the BYD Seagull. On February the 23rd, Hina Battery unveiled three sodium ion battery cells and announced a partnership with Anhui Yanghui Automobile Group Corporation, which is JAC. One of those models became the first to carry sodium ion batteries. By the way, that's a joint venture partnership with Volkswagen. Volkswagen hopes to get in on sodium batteries as well. Hina Battery and Seahole, a joint venture between JAC and Volkswagen and we have jointly built a test vehicle with sodium ion batteries based on the Seahole E10X. The test vehicle has a battery pack with a capacity of 25 kilowatt hours, an energy density of only 120 watts per kilo, and the range of the car is 250 kilometers, which is pretty impressive considering the battery of that size. Now, apparently it supports fast charging, from 3C to 4C, which is a reference to the speed, it can charge at around 200 kilowatt. Now the battery pack actually uses cells with an energy density of 140 watts per kilo. So clearly it looks as though CATL are a fair way ahead of the batteries in that EV. Cherry though now are saying, you know what? We want sodium ion batteries, CATL are supplying them to them. And this year will be the year when we see major disruption begin 
in the automotive market. Now, it's really crucial you actually pay attention to this kind of stuff because if you've invested in more various automobile companies or mining stocks, you need to know about where the industry is headed. Hopefully this gives you some insight that helps you make investment decisions. Thank you, my friends, for watching. Bye-bye.